Breathe one, two, three, four, five. Dash one, two, three, four, five. Breathe one, two, three, four, five. Dash one, two, three, four, five. Breathe one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and for dash. One, two, three, four, five, and for dash. Afro dashing is a warning four times, and after you've done the fourth and one, then you step back, step front, then you hit them with the fifth and one, which is your last and one, then you dash. What Afro dashing does is put you behind the player so you can combo start off your last and one, which should not be possible normally. Breathe, look behind them, dash. Breathe, M2, boom. Breathe, look behind them, dash. You choose if you want to breathe or not in this one. Go annihilation type, click it. Go behind them, hit him. Bypass this block with the ultimate of a Kesa. So a quick explanation to what block bypassing is, that's basically you speeding your enemies. The way you are speed your enemies is by dashing behind them and then wanting them. You can also come past their block by using moves as I just did. And you can also come past their block by using your final move, which is your ultimate as I just showcased. Watch him block bypass my block. Nice. Four. Nice. Two. Three. Four. And four dash. So the one combo is pretty easy, and that was the one combo. So if you want to learn it, use it, whatever. That was it. Breathe. Use string slash M2. Alt. And then try to M1 him. So what you just saw there was he basically lag switched and when you lag switch it actually delays your air type shots. The way you lag switch is by kicking F11 tab then you hold the menu and it basically freezes your entire screen it froze everything and it freezes it until I let go. So try to look here and look again. There he's moving. Lag switching freezes your entire game and the way you can stop the lag switching is just by letting go. Lag switching is an extra exclusive option for PC players. So if you want to lag switch, buy a PC. Brief. Alt. Hold it in. Dash. So what he did there was blocked and dashed at the same time. So your goal with this is by evading your enemies Rengoku or an Annihilation type. That's basically making it harder for them to extend. And the reason why you even want to do that is that if there's no ledges, then you can just evade their ult and try to make it as hard for them to extend off their ultimate. Which is how you can evade Annihilation type and Rengoku. So the tip I can give Akaza users are actually using the moves you just demonstrated because that when you're in a string lock, then you can use those moves to escape from the string because all of them have iframes. And also, when you're fighting with Akaza, then you're gonna want to overextend the fight as long as possible. Because when you overextend the fight, you're gonna learn your enemy's tactics, and when you learn their tactics, you can use that to counter them in many ways as the fight goes on, until you eventually kill them. So your main goal with Akaza is just overextending the fight, and that's how you can become the best rogue demon player by using Akaza. So that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment for the help on the video. If you wanna see more, then you can click this button right up your screen right here. And what you can do by that is learning the tips. This video we did right here, we made tips for all breathings. This is for all breathings, all BTAs. So if you wanna get better and become a pro player, then you can watch this video right here. Peace.